Okay, so I saw this on Twitter. They said, who is the most influential artist in the world? So you could go by this talking about who do they mean who's most influential right now or all time. And so I'm going to do both. So right now, I'm definitely going to give it to Beyonce and Taylor Swift. And yeah, I mean, what Beyonce has been able to do with her entire career has been, you know, awe-inspiring to say the very least with the ironic success that she's been able to translate from Destiny's Child to her solo career and just the way that she's been able to kind of set trends with, you know, the surprise release album with her self-titled. And now you see everyone trying to do that, but not everyone is Beyonce, how hard she works in terms of performing and and just all those other things you see a lot of people kind of borrowing off of Beyonce and you know there's a lot of you know people who have said in the past like oh like I'm gonna be the Beyonce of the group or this person's the Beyonce of the group and then they fall flat on their face because they don't have the star power and they don't have the work ethic and the smarts of Beyonce so I think just what she's been able to do in her career and pop culture at large you know kind of has Beyonce on here and what she was able to do with that renaissance album with basically no promotion still able to get a number one song still had a very successful tour and you know selling out stadiums yeah I really don't know who else could do that so that's what I'm going to say Beyonce and then for Taylor Swift I mean, just look at what she's been able to do with, like, the entire thing about owning your masters. Prince did talk about this in, like, the 90s and stuff whenever he was going through it with Warner Brothers, and I do want to acknowledge that and everything. I think the reason why it's being more successful now in terms of, like, it's important to own your masters is because more has happened in the music industry since he said that. The music industry has changed, and Taylor has put out these recordings that have been able to be so successful, and she's devaluing her original recordings and showing that it can be done. And so many artists are, you know, doing that now to the point where labels are trying to put on a restriction like, oh, you have to wait, you know, 15, 20 years to even record again because of Taylor Swift. Also, it's worth noting that Taylor Swift is the reason why Olivia Rodrigo owns her masters because, you know, she saw what Taylor was doing with it. She was very inspired by it. She's a huge fan of her. And so she negotiated a deal to where she owns her masters for like, you know, this contract, which is a huge thing, you know, to be such a young artist and to already own your masters. So, you know, got to give hats to Taylor for doing that, you know, just for artists overall. You know, she's got all these people watching the NFL now because of the whole Travis Kelsey thing. I mean, even myself included, I'll admit it, you know, and just what she's been able to do with her career overall in terms of her business sense, in terms of how she promotes, in terms of how she's really built up a strong fan base over all of these years and the fact that she's always keeping them fed with you know new releases and all the easter eggs and all these things like taylor's really great at marketing so i would say that these two in particular really have their pulse on the world right now and it's interesting to say because two of them are you know so far into their career at this point and you know there's some great up and coming artists but when i look at you know who's been so successful in these times i wanted to give it to them. if we're talking overall you know i could obviously say mariah carey I mean, a lot of singers wouldn't be singing had it not been for her. I mean, she inspired Beyonce. Beyonce literally said, Vision of Love is what made me want to sing. And I was fascinated by all the riffs and runs that she did in terms of that. And yeah, she's influenced Kelly Clarkson, Ariana Grande, Christina Aguilera. Like, yeah, so there's been so many people that wouldn't be doing what they were doing if not for her. And, you know, I can really respect that she's always written her songs and even talking about All I Want For Christmas Is You, which is like the most successful Christmas song ever. And the fact that it goes number one every single year. And all these new artists always are trying to have a Christmas song and a Christmas album because of Mariah and her success. Which she wasn't really expecting at the time. But what she's been able to do with that and how she's always able to go with the times and, you know, adapt to it. But she doesn't lose her artistic identity with an album like Caution for sure. And she's always really popular on social media. Like she has her pulse on the culture. And i mean having 19 number one hits i believe she has 28 top 10 singles and just looking at her eye-watering success over the career how she was able to come back with the emancipation of mimi and we belong together being number one for 14 weeks and then don't forget about us was also number one hits you all have touched my body obsessed with top 10 but i mean even it's getting referenced today in megan's new song and you have i spice mentioning her like all these people a lot of people would look at mariah's career and they would die to have something like that happen to them and just the way that she's navigated it all and you know just how on point that she's been you know i think that she's influenced a lot so i gotta give her credits there
obviously Michael Jackson because I mean he had the best selling album of all time with Thriller so you have to have it there I think in the sense of his performing as well definitely got to give him one of the best performers of all time in terms of what he's been able to do with that he's always written his songs as well which I really do respect as a singer I mean his longevity has been great so I definitely have to give him the nod as well because so many people cited him as an influence from Usher to Justin Timberlake to a lot of people and he's perfected his art in so many different ways so I have to give him his respect there then i put madonna on here as well i'm not as familiar with madonna's catalog my friends are trying to get me to get into it at some point this year i'm trying to listen on my youtube channel and just 25 but i mean she did push a lot of boundaries overall you know with you know everything that she was doing in her music career and everything and i really appreciate her standing up for the lgbt community in a time where it wasn't really popular to do so she got a lot of backlash for that and a lot of other things that she's done and you know sometimes rightfully so sometimes wrongfully so but i can appreciate that at least she's willing to take a risk and everything because to know what your platform is and to use it to help other people in the way that she's done a lot of times gotta give her credit there and yeah i mean she's influenced a lot of pop stars you know such as lady gaga for example and you know just so many other people who cite her as the main influence and i mean you see it everywhere with things that people are doing but you know i gotta appreciate her at least in that respect so i will say that also have to give a nod to the Beatles as well, you know, whenever they first kind of started out, it wasn't really as popular to write your own songs as it is now. So from that standpoint, also with the music and everything, like with their pop rock and like how psychedelic they got and how their music got heavier. And yeah, a lot of people would, you know, not even be in the industry without the Beatles and everything. And, you know, just very influential overall and everything that Paul McCartney has done after the Beatles and everything with his legacy is definitely huge. So I wanted to mention them as well. So yeah, that's mainly going to be my my list i'm sure there's people that i didn't mention like drake which i could see that being in the conversation but also he's kind of fallen off and i don't like drake as i said several times but you know let's continue that conversation down below in the comments let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me